Well, we've somewhat fixed the poor run of form, but now we're facing a player revolt. Hello everyone, Cam Bear Run here, and welcome back to FM24 Western Super Mare. As I mentioned in the intro, I now might be facing player revolt. So I had a load of the players come to me and say they weren't happy with my management of the team. I'm going to show you the photo of everybody who was mad. That's basically the entire team except for the centre-backs. And the reason why it, was, it wasn't even a request, it was we need quality centre-backs and we need them now. Because to be fair, we've got three centre-backs, Sonar, Dyer, and Grogan, and all three of them are shit. Grogan doesn't even have a star rating because he's just bad. Um, because I signed him from a Welsh team and didn't really check. So i got those players on Tynus as well, but I, can't, I cannot play anyone else because we've got two massive games against Oldham and Harrogate coming up. And we've played a week in, week out again. So the schedule after we played filed, we we got wins against Kidderminster and Solihull Moors. We drew against Tombridge and we lost against Boreham Wood before drawing well Altringham with a very, very late goal as well. We probably won't finish inside the um, inside the playoffs. But the big problem with the promise that I made, and I shouldn't have fucking said anything, is that I've got seven days to do it because they basically, they don't want it in the summer. They want it, in the fucking, before the end of the window. I've got the scouts on trying to find centre-backs, but I don't think it's going to go very well. Because uh, we don't really have a scouting budget. Because I basically drain the scouting budget to fund the wages. A lot of this all basically comes from um, the fact that when I signed up, I paid a bunch of players. Like, I think the biggest problem was, A, the issue with Norva, Williams, and Law. I thought I was only going to get one. And they managed to get both. And they're both on about 650 quid a week. And then on top of that, some of the people I kind of renewed, I paid too much to them. So now we've got this huge problem where we don't have any, like, we don't have any money to spend. So I can't bring in a sender back unless I bring somebody in on a six-month loan. Yeah, I know. We're just going to have to deal with it. Boyce is going to have to come on at half time, or anyone else is going to have to come on at half time. Because I don't have any other choice. This is Oldham. This is like the strongest fucking... Strongest team in the division, alongside Harrogate. And we've got to play them both back to back. Which is not fun. We have sort of like... We've collapsed towards the end of the season. Because we're a very thin squad. With no money to make any additions. I might try and get a sixth month loan. From somebody. But, you know... That's a good tackle, but then nobody comes to pick up the ball. <clears throat> we, I mean, I don't expect us to get a result here, but, you know. We've, we've got to play the, we've got to play the two strongest teams in the league back to back. And you're telling me that, you know, I think we'll probably end up inside the uh, outside of the playoffs after this. So we'll play G Gateshead and Oxford City and play Scunthorpe and Woking. We, but we basically just reversed all the fixtures um, after playing Woking. So. But it's, it's, it's getting weird. But I've actually considered maybe ducking out in the summer, looking for another, like, another job in management. I can probably try and skeeve off of the fact that I got them promoted straight out of the Vanarama South and actually did reach the playoffs of the playoff of the Vanarama National. But I don't know what else I can do after this. I'm probably going to have to completely rebuild the team. Oh, that's wasteful from Tavares. Um, I'll probably try and shift one of Laura Norville Williams on and then keep the other one and then just rebuild from there. I think Walker's going to have to leave because he's been actually quite underwhelming. He does have 11 assists, but most games he's playing a 6.4. So there's no point in keeping him on. So, yeah. You can see, you can see the team laid down as well. I didn't really go through the team sheet, but it's pretty much the strongest team I can put out, bar Skerritt for Adams. It's a shame because Skerritt is probably going to be leaving. I was going to keep him as the um, first-choice goalkeeper, but obviously then the chance to sign Adams came up and I took it because every because everybody wanted strengthening in the goalkeeping department. 
And so I had to basically take the chance and sign Adams. And that put me massively for the way. I pr- I've, I wouldn't say I have, but I have come close to running the uh, club into the ground. Thankfully, getting through to the first round proper of the FA Cup was very, very helpful. Again, it's the same fuck. The amount of goals we've conceded from, like, from the edge of the box, from stuff like that, is appalling. It's really annoying. Yeah, and again. Because nobody is, nobody is marking on this side. Hang on. That was the fucking... How was that their fucking fullback? Yeah. Yeah, we've had one shot. Yeah, this is this is going very very. We've only had one shot the whole game. It's been all Oldham. We can't get near them. Nice save by Scarra. Hey, one of the things I'm going to do. They, I kept turning it. I kept turning it off because we kept racking up yellow cards. But I'm going to have to turn get stuck in, get stuck in on because they're not getting in challenges. They are literally just standing there and watching the run with the ball. So hopefully, if we put get stuck in, we will actually. Yeah. Actually going to do that because he's been a fucking nightmare. Oh, wow. That makes it three. Fifteen to five, two. We've had one shot on target. I didn't put Boyce on the fucking subs bench either. Best I can do in this scenario. Fucking Grogan doesn't even put in a challenge. He just falls over. That's bad. I need to say, like... We've been absolutely destroyed. And some of that is literally because we're just so tired all the time. The other part is we don't have any quality at centre-back whatsoever. So our centre-backs just get passed by easily. I really think I should have maybe put Adams in rather than scare it. Having your two-star barely played goalkeeper is probably not a good idea. Just to make him happy. And then that's a, that's a waste because fucking McNulty cannot pass to anybody because they're all just stood, stood where they're covered. Because no one's got any movement in the box. Jesus.
Yeah, that's really bad. That's just kicked straight forward. No goal, no aim. Nice attempt at tackle, but doesn't go anywhere. Yeah, I've got the interception here. Or oh, and then he, he gets in behind the goalkeeper and then he just hits it wide. Ugh. Yeah, Dyer is playing 6.2, Grogan a 6.4. Because I have no one else. Like, Dyer has been an absolute disaster class ever since he joined. <coughs> Which is, some of that's on my scouts because he showed up as a four-star potential player. But now he's just, I think he's literally at three stars. There's no, no sign of improvement. Yeah, and then the move breaks down. Well, we got another corner, at least. But yeah, we're just doing crap. Been an absolute humiliation. That takes the cake, is that he's... the su Ward there is just allowed to grab, turn, and then do nothing because no one puts in a tackle on him. They've forgotten how to pass. They've forgotten how to tackle. It's just been really embarrassing. Jesus. And I'm supposed to try and find another centre back in like six days, and I've got no money to spend to do it. So I could. I don't know whether I can get us sacked this late into the season, but yeah, I literally have to fucking ignore that. So because otherwise I haven't got a team to play. So give me a second. I'm just gonna head to the Harrogate game. Okay, it is nine fifteen in the morning, in game, and I have a job offer interview. It is to take the job at Chesterfield. I'll just show you this, right? So, in terms of the competitions, they are bottom of League 2. They are one point from safety. And if I go there, I've got five games to keep them up. Probably four. It's Tranmere, Wimbledon, Sutton, and Exeter. I'm going to go tend it. Hello. Great to be here. Let's go. Are you concerned that you don't have that much money? Yes. That's technically true, by the way. Yes, I can actually attend. I will attend the fucking press conferences if you want. Supporters. Well, that, I mean, I would probably try and get the fuck out of here before I face a massive squ squ squad revolt. I did pacify them to an extent. Oh, no, never mind. Yeah, that's fine. I don't care. We did make one signing. Um, that is Mufasa Olagunju. We signed him on a free from Tamworth. He's going to come in to hopefully be depth option. So, this will be fun. I'm actually going to do that. We need to take a more balanced approach because Harrogate are very, very good. So, either I go to Chestfield or I get the fuck out of here. We 
We're going to do all this fucking shit. So we've got, because we have a ton of players, so still, the Jamie Sewell is still not fit. Everyone else should be fine. So we got Adams, Law, Sonar, Olegunju, Norville Williams, Kellerman, Lindley playing in a more advanced world. Walker, Banzai, McNulty, Tavares, and Bickerstaff. Yeah, well, he's got to start because I got no one else. I don't. He is probably going to be lacking in match sharpness. So, I think we should have Huddleston marked. Mark specific, yeah, that's fine. Uh, edits. Yep. There we go. <coughs> right, we could really use a result. I don't expect to get one. We got embarrassed by Oldham last time out. Um, so, yeah. I would very much not like that to happen. Well, we didn't concede off the rebound this time. That's a fucking improvement. Good header out by Norville Williams. I really feel like Tavares should be running towards that. He, 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 he can reach that. He really can. Ooh, oh, Jesus. Ah, that's right off the head of Tavares there. Oh, uh, Bickerstaff almost. Just need to get a little bit more, let, well, a little less curl on it. But we had a chance, and Bickerstaff is offside, of course he is. Problem is, I've got Sewell on the bench, but he's going to be nowhere near fitness unless I put him on in the last 10 minutes. And we've got, I think we're playing literally Tuesday, Friday, Tuesday, Friday. Or Tuesday, Friday, Monday, Friday for the last four games. Get, oh, fuck me. Well, we're playing, like, things Tuesday, Friday, Monday, Friday for the last four games of the season. Because reasons. Apparently they want to just skim to the end. Kellerman tripped a little bit there. That's actually not a bash. See, this is the problem is that there's way too many, and I've had this all season. There's been way too many instances where they just get the ball, but rather than pass off to the people who are in space and can score, they'll just take the shot themselves. Oh, that's really bad from Norville Williams. He's nowhere, he's nowhere near the player and just sticks a leg out. Nice. What a save. Good lad. And then we just concede off of the fucking corner because fucking we've got two people that can't jump. Brilliant. We're going to get battered again. Yes, I know, but I can't play a DM. Because that's the other part is that Lindley and Thomas can't play together now. It's funny. I, I sold Morton for like fucking 19k. Got the... Got the thing, got the, uh, what do you call it? Oh, wow. Right, I'm going to do one thing, because then this is going to be wild. Because we're already 3-0 down. I'm going to set this back to, to where he's good. I'm going to keep it like this. We are actually getting fucking battered again. Because we've got no defensive stability. It looks like Ola Gunji is just as bad as everyone else. And we get one back. Norval Williams. Because he's weirdly enough, Norval Williams is the only player on our team who's actually running towards the ball and is making an effort. We are, lit we are literally just getting fucking bullied because we've got no midfield or defensive presence so nobody makes tackles. It also doesn't actually help that we can't play Sewell. Because normally a lot of our plays just Sewell running down the centre with his pace. But he's played in every single game and he's just ridiculously tired. <sighs> don't 
Doesn't even get tackled. He just trips over his own bloody feet. Walking goal. Well, we might actually come back from this. That helped. Banzo Magnolti gets fouled, but the ball isn't won, so we just get the space. And Walker is on side there. You just blast it home. Fucking wires everywhere. We could have probably just let that go out, but whatever. Because that's the problem. Because now, yeah, because now we've let it th through. We've tried to kick the ball out, and it's given them a perfect chance to counterattack, so we pushed everybody up. That's sort of like the issue. Everybody gets the chance to move forward, but then we lose the ball. Oh, wow, we're level. Zane Walker gets the second of the game. And it's 10th goal of the season. Yeah, uh, Walker is now wanted by um, Cheltenham Town. Ooh, nice. Right, let's look at some subs. Thomas, and then... Said I wasn't, but he's going to have to. We are in the 69th minute. He should be okay. We'll bring off Sonhar in a minute, Von Dyer. Ooh, that might be on me. I think I haven't, um, no, that's, that's just, again, it's, no one is fucking, Grogan it is. So we get, they get, they get the throw. The ball gets passed in there, but then this is, this is sort of the thing. Why is nobody trying to, like, press the man when they're on the ball? It's just a giveaway. And that's probably cost us, like, cost us the game now. Oh, no, maybe not. Now, we've got Walker taking them, but he's not the best penalty ability. Oh, no, it's Banzo McNulty. Yeah, and it's shit. Because we base this is the other, like, we do not have anybody who can take a penalty since Morton. That's two missed penalties in the game now. That's actually fair play from Baroga and just getting it out. Oh, that was nice try, but he was never going to be able to shoot it through that pile of bodies. How was that? How was that a fucking foul, you dickheads? Thanks, ref. Got the ball, didn't he? Oh, nice. We got a chance here. Yeah! Hat trick for Walker! <clears throat> I 
What a fucking game this is turning out to be. Jesus. There we go. Four Ford. From going, from being embarrassed by Oldham to, uh, I, th I think we've just decided the title race. I really do think we have. I think, I think we've just decided the title. Because we got smashed by Oldham, but we've held Harrogate to a draw. You've done all, you've all done brilliantly. I'm very proud. Holy crap. Yeah, that's that. That might that might done it. That might have that might have decided the title race. Since we've, um, yeah, we yeah. Well, fucking hell. Yeah, look look at all the players we've got with fitness concerns. I'm going to have to see what I'm going to do for Tuesday because we could be in trouble. Oxford City have already been relegated. Fantastic. We play Gateshead next, I think it is. So, yeah, gets... so bearing in mind that I've obviously got the Ch uh, Chesterfield job on the, ro on the rocks, so we got to lose a focus. I'm going to see how they did against... Um... Uh, they drew against Chesterfield. But Barrow... Obviously, they must have won. Yeah, Drew would nil-nil. So they got four games to save themselves, but it also relies on results elsewhere, and they're not playing Barrow. So if we go to... Oh, wait. We really... Oh, we'll go to fucking thing then. Yeah, they beat Exeter 1-0. So they've got Stockport, Crew, Salford. And... So I, I will say it, but Barrow have the easier time of it. So if I go to Chesterfield, I've got to basically win every single game. No, no dice, no dice. So I'm gonna end. I'm gonna end officially. Gonna end it here. We'll be back probably just for the final game of the season against Woking. Um, if you've enjoyed this, feel free to leave a like. If you want to see more, you can always subscribe. I've been Canberra Run, and thank you. Well, here it is. They want to keep me. But I can't, because look at this. £725 a week starts immediately. In the next episode.